the state is expecting to receive its first shipment of COVID-19 vaccines before Christmas. To explain this with us, Dr. Helen Boucher, Chief of Geographic Medicine and Infectious Disease at Tufts Medical Center. Always good to see you. Great to see you, Emily. All right, so we have learned the state could receive enough doses within the next three weeks to vaccinate 300,000 people, 300,000. How significant is that number and how quickly do you think it could slow the rate of new cases? Well, Emily, that is a significant number and it's a larger number than we had expected. So this is good news. I think that we do have to temper that though with understanding that it's going to take weeks to months right. before we reach the levels of immunity that will stop the spread of this virus. So I think our estimates of the sometime to the spring and summer of next year before we reach that 60 to 70 percent immunity in our community that will allow us to get back to everyday activities is still pretty reasonable. So when we think about these first folks that will get a vaccine and even the general public, to your point, next spring into the summer, does it matter which brand name someone gets? Uh, it's a great question. You know, we still have to see the efficacy and safety data. We're going to see the first release of the data next week with an advisory committee on December 10th for the Pfizer uh, product and then on December 17th for the Moderna. If, if things turn out the way they look to, then really there will be very little difference. And our advice is to get whatever vaccine is offered as quickly as it is offered. Yeah, you and I have talked about this. You said you'll be the first in line to get one of these vaccines. Um, let's talk a little bit about those trials. The state's going to make the final call on distribution after it gets this guidance from CDC. Nursing home residents were not part of the large scale trials. Um, do you think they should still be in that first group just based on the mortality rates in that population? Yeah, well, Emily, we know that nursing home patients are at incredibly high risk. And fortunately, there were older patients included in the trials and older patients are who end up in nursing homes. So I think we'll be able to extrapolate the data. Again, we have to see the data first, but assuming that the data pan out, I think that uh, it makes great sense to go after nursing home patients in the first wave of vaccination because they are still suffering unbelievably due to this virus. Yeah. All right. Dr. Boucher, thank you for your insight. As always, really appreciate it.